guys, my name is Christian, aka Casher.doom. Today we're gonna be in Photoshop, color separating for CMYK on lighter fabrics. So first off, you're gonna wanna have Photoshop open, create a new file. So if you have a printer, you're gonna wanna print at your size. For example, I can print up to 11 by 17, and I'm gonna make this into a CMYK um, a file. If you guys know some basics and screen printing, you're obviously gonna wanna adjust the, the hues and colors, saturation, because when you're working in CMYK, you lose some of your color. So make sure you guys do that, which I'm not gonna do and show in this video. Next, what you're gonna wanna do, go to the channels. You see all these colors, see in my case, cyan, magenta, and yellow, and black. You're gonna wanna make a copy for each. So I'm gonna make a copy for cyan, copy for magenta, copy for yellow, copy of black. All right. So then you're gonna wanna organize them. I'm gonna keep yellow on top, cyan on the bottom, Black, the last one, and magenta kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna start out with yellow. I'm gonna go to yellow. Spot, uh, I'm gonna click spot color. After you have yellow click, you're gonna wanna change each um, color into zero and have yellow at 100. 100. If you see right here, CMYK, everything else is zero besides yellow. Okay, we're gonna keep this at 15%. All right, do the same thing for magenta, only the copies. Spot color, 15, magenta, okay, cyan zero, magenta 100, yellow a zero, K a zero. All right, let me make sure. All right, I did that correct. All right, so cyan, spot color, cyan 100, yellow zero, zero, zero. Okay, okay, we're going to black. So black is gonna be at 100, all right? Spot color, change it to black, boom. Now what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna delete my originals. So delete, yes. So now that you've deleted it, go to the hamburger button on the right side over here, on the corner, click that, split channels. It's gonna create many documents and you're gonna want to go to each individual document and convert them to halftones which I'll show you right now. First, I'm gonna delete this random file that always creates. So now that we're on black, we're gonna wanna go to image, bitmap, okay. And we're gonna wanna keep the frequency at 50, depending on the mesh. I think it's recommended if you're working with a, um, smaller, finer dots, you work with a mesh of 200. So I'm gonna keep the angle at 45, I think for, let me confirm. So for the angle, since it's black, I'm gonna keep it at 45. All right, and go back to mode, grayscale, okay, mode, back to CMYK. Next, what I like to do is create a new layer and fill it with white. Lock it, hide it, because it might help you. Grab your magic wand tool, just over here, click on the white, Delete, you see that? Delete it all the white. That's what you want. Now you're gonna wanna do the same thing for the rest of the tabs. So the next one's gonna be cyan. Image, mode, bitmap, okay. And the angle for this is 15. Cool. Image, mode, grayscale. Again, image, mode, CMYK. So we are gonna be working on the same file as black. So you're, you're just gonna to wanna to copy this file, copy, and you're gonna to wanna to paste it in here and do the same thing. Magic one, delete, you see it's there. Cyan, so we're gonna hit cyan. Cool, now do the same thing for magenta. Image, mode, bitmap, okay. And magenta, magenta, magenta is at 75. Image, mode, grayscale, image, CMYK, all right, unlock it, copy it, go back to the original black file, paste it, magic wand tool, delete, confirm, boom. Same thing for the yellow, image, mode, bitmap, and yellow's at zero. 
image mode grayscale okay image mode cmyk okay unlock copy black to uh, going back to original black file paste magic wand tool delete and if you want just delete the rest of the tabs so it doesn't kind of confuse you because it confuses me sometimes so for cyan i'm gonna pick solid color cyan 100 zero zero boom i have cyan drag it clip it to cyan you don't want to merge it which is command e and you have your cyan there you see that boom and do the same thing for magenta magenta solid color Yellow 100, zero. You have magenta, merge, audio, merge layers. See, you have magenta, then do the same thing for yellow, solid color, zero, zero, yellow 100, zero. Clip, merge. And now you're gonna to wanna to reorganize them, hold on. Now that you have all your colors, you're gonna to want to change the blend mode. Watch me. I'm gonna to go to yellow, I'm gonna change it to multiply. I'm gonna to go to magenta, change it to multiply. Cyan, you really don't have to change to multiply because it has nothing under it. But now you have your full image in half tones. If you can look up close, you see all these little fine dots that it's gonna create this whole beautiful image. Right? You need for black. I mean, you could if you want, but it doesn't really do anything. But, uh, yeah, that's how I do it. How are you going to print it? It has color. Well, I just wanted you guys to visualize it. So next thing, what you could do is click on, for example, cyan. Double click it. I'm going to add a color overlay. Click on that. Blend mode down normal. I have it at black already. Change it at black. If you can see, watch. See, it's in black. And you do the same thing for each of them. Color overlay. It basically saves the previous settings you had. In black, you really don't have to do anything for that. So now you have them all in black and you can, you know, toggle on and off. So now your designs are ready for print. I'll turn all of these layers off. Let's say I'm just printing black, right? I just want to have black. I'll just label it as black. Make sure all of your layers are turned off. You either can save it from here, save as, computer, PDF, cool. And that's all you do. Or you can print it directly from Photoshop, right? And you do the same thing for all of them. So I'm gonna do cyan now. No, I'm going to say yellow. So you're going to want to change it to yellow. Cool. So that's my yellow. And you can toggle yeah, on and off to confirm it's yellow. Again, my name is Christian, aka Catcher.Doom. Make sure you guys follow my socials, leave me a comment, a like, anything I can help you with, let me know.